Hey there YouTube, Baylor here, and today I want to talk about the defect, specifically the achievements for the defect. There are two character specific achievements for the defect in Slay the Spire. Those are Focused, have 25 or more focus during combat, and Neon for channeling 9 plasma orbs in one turn. Both of these seem pretty dang daunting at first. They ask you to do something that is way outside the normal gameplay of the character and that can make them fairly difficult to achieve. But with a little bit of forethought, the character, the defect, has some seriously powerful tools at their disposal that you can use to get these achievements. So in this video, I'm going to start a run as the defect and attempt to accomplish one or both of the character-specific achievements, Focused and Neon, explaining how to get these achievements and looking at all of the different ways that we might be able to get them in our gameplay. Hopefully this will give you some ideas for in your own runs how you can earn these achievements or it'll help you look for opportunities to unlock these achievements as you play Defect naturally. They are pretty difficult achievements to get forcibly, but uh, we'll see what we can do here. I highly recommend for getting these achievements that you play on Ascension 1. You do want the additional elites spawning on the map. This is because the rare cards of the defect character are very, very useful in getting these two achievements. Particularly, we're looking for the cards Meteor Strike and Creative AI. Both of these are extremely powerful ways to either get the plasma orbs or the focus that we want. And when you kill elites, you have a higher than normal chance to see rare cards. So we will be fighting elites looking for rares. We're also going to be looking for the rare card at the end of the Act 1 boss. And to that end, I think taking a rare card starting bonus from the whale is a good idea. If you get either Creative AI or Meteor Strike, then you're halfway towards one of these achievements already. And even if you don't, you still have a pretty useful card. Colorless cards can be vaguely helpful in achieving this goal. You can use Hand of Greed to make money, um, or you can use the colorless card Discovery to try to make Focus and uh, Plasma Orbs. Another good way to get rare cards is to swap your starting relic for a random boss relic. And if we didn't have a rare card option here, I would probably choose the boss swap. Boss relics can also help you get Meteor Strike into play, which is pretty important. Now, Meteor Strike isn't the only way to get the Neon achievement. Channeling 9 Plasma in one turn can also be done with a couple of other cards. Um, those cards being Chaos, which has a chance to create plasma orbs, and Fusion, which creates one plasma orb guaranteed. Now, the rare card we received, Rainbow, doesn't generate any plasma, nor does it create any focus, but it is going to help our little defect here with tackling some early elites so that we can start to maybe look at rare cards. So, right at the start of the run here, we simply want to progress through, defeat some enemies, and look at some cards so that we can try to find the tools to unlock these achievements. I'll grab a ball lightning early too. This just helps us kill stuff. Pretty good if we get some focus too. Something that we're going to want to grab also is a source of frost worms. Ideally, cool headeds or cold snaps, so that we can use those to prolong a combat for a while. Something else that we're going to want for this run. Probably want to keep it fairly small in terms of total cards here. I'll grab the reinforced body, but from here on out, I think we want to try to remove as many cards as possible. Something to note if you're trying to get achievements in your own gameplay. Uh, playing on PC using Mod the Spire or any other sort of mods will 
disable your ability to unlock achievements, but there is, an ach is a mod that you can use called Achievement Enabler, and we're running that along with a number of other quality of life mods here. gonna die, huh? You see, the Dark Orb from this rainbow is uh, really nice for getting through some early fights very easily. Hmm, card draw. Okay. Let's take a Compulter over here. Works so well with the rainbow for drawing a ton of cards. The other big thing that we want to keep our eyes out for in terms of cards that we can find are anything that allow us to duplicate a card or return a card to our hands. In order to, to get Neon channeling a whole bunch of plasma orbs in one turn, one of the best ways to do that is to play a plasma orb channeling card multiple times, either duplicate it or return it to your hands. I think we want to start with Rainbow here. Drink one of these as well. Choose violence. Just let this dark orb cook for a bit. Okay, we get offered a rare card, not the rare card we've been looking for, or not either of the rare cards that we're looking for. Hyper Beam loses us focus, rather than gaining us focus, but it can be used to kill multiple foes, nice and easy-like. So I suppose that I'll pick it up. That's going to further allow us to shrink the deck down. The other option here is Rebound, which could definitely be a way to help get uh, Neon if we find a Meteor Strike. I'll grab the Hyper Beam, and we'll get it upgraded with the Whetstone. Very good, very good. And we'll upgrade this Reinforced Body. Currently, the goal is just make the deck strong enough to kill Elites so that we can find rare cards. Disintegrated. Attack Potion's extremely important here. Why? Because Attack Potion may contain Meteor Strike. There's a small chance. It offers three random attack cards that will cost zero this turn. And there's a one in however many attacks the defect has. Well, three in, actually. That uh, you get offered Meteor Strike there to temporarily generate. And you can use that to get the achievement. Even if the card's not really in your deck, you can, you can do that. But there's no point in using the attack potion to try to find a meteor strike until we're in position to actually play said meteor strike three times. So that then becomes the, the real clincher. We have to arrange the correct confluence of factors. Which right now is bopping the knob. Play reinforced body next turn. Yeah, not too bad. Ah, even better. Okay, frozen egg upgrades any powers we see, like this static discharge. 
Might want to take a turbo. It's good with reinforced body, and it would also be a way to initially play something like a meteor strike. I'm gonna need energy, I think. Okay, let's take this turbo. <laughs> Membership card is pretty good. Allowing us to get a 50% discount on all purchases forever. Shops are going to be important during this run so that we can remove cards and so that we can purchase rare cards. Also thinking about madness here. If we can find a plasma orb generating card and make it permanently free, that makes, makes it a lot easier to play enough times per turn. So let's start with the membership card. I'm going to remove one basic strike here. And we're going to, yes, purchase one Madness, I think, for potential later use. <laughs> and want to start with Rainbow. Three, try to get turbo. Okay. Maybe next time. Tropic Brew, more potion generation could be good. Defrag is our first hint of focus. Focus is part of what we want. Although this isn't reusable focus, I will pick it up here. And I will take the Entropic Brew. Look at an event here. Dead Adventure, another elite fight. Let's fight. Fight the Legavulin again here. Let's use this colorless potion. So many rare cards, so little time. Oh right, I have no focus. No. Didn't think that through entirely, did I? A uh, hyper beam kills next turn. Good. Not too bad. Okay, here we go. Fusion. Channel 1 Plasma. This is a potential tool we can use to get Neon. We would have to play this nine times in one turn in order to get the achievement, but that is that is an option. That is an option. So we're going to grab that. Carry it around in the deck. And I don't know that I'm going to upgrade it because I'm probably going to try to use Madness to make it free. So I think I'm going to upgrade the Madness and not the... Not the fusion. That's pretty funny, actually. Good old Guardian, not too hard here on Ascension 1. Again, our goal is just to get a rare card that we can use to pursue our achievements. Am I just going to madness this defend? I think so. Just want this fight to be... Short and easy. Get that front for dual cast. Get him. time.
Okay, so please creative AI or meteor strike. We got a meteor strike. Deal 24 damage, channel three plasma. This is the important piece of the puzzle when it comes to getting the neon achievement. Because three plasma at once means you only have to play this card three times to get neon. So we've set ourselves up very nicely to abuse it here. If we can use madness to make this five cost card into a zero cost card, then it's not too hard to play it enough times to get the achievement. Another interesting option we could go for here, given that we have a madness, taking the all for one, returning a card back into our hand that's been made zero cost, we could try to do something like madness the fusion and then get it back with all for one. But that's not going to be as many plasma orbs as Meteor Strike here. And we are offered an Inserter. Interesting. Inserter is part of one of the combos you can use to get the focused achievement. Inserter plus Consume it is an easy-peasy way to do that. I wonder if it helps us with the Meteor Strike. Probably more easily Astrolabe here. Transform and Upgrade three cards lets us turn three basic cards into something a bit more potent. I'd probably transform Strike Strike Zap. Transforms are relatively likely to get you rare cards. This could also give us things that we might need in order to be able to duplicate the Meteor Strike, such as Echo Form or Hologram. I think I'll go for the Astrolabe here, but I'll, I'll note that if we take the Inserter, there's some interesting possibilities we could do with that. So let's transform Strike Strike Zap. Oh yeah, wow. Talk about a powerful Astrolabe. Buffer Plus, White Noise Plus, and a Bias Cognition Plus. Those are extremely good, actually, because all three of these cards are are powers, that means that when they're played, they won't go to the discard pile, and it'll be easier to draw back into our zero-cost Meteor Strike. So, we want to now visit stores as a priority. Stores are going to be card removals for us with the membership card. We can further condense the deck down. We also want to be looking at card rewards so that we can find things with which to duplicate our cards. So we want to take a mixture of fights and elites. We should be plenty fine since we're on Ascension 1 and we have meat on the bone. We should be able to defeat most combats pretty easily here. But we're still lacking the critical tools to actually get the 9 Plasma in one turn. Ouch, by the way. Yes. Check it. Madness on Meteor Strike. Boop. Another big thing to note with the... If you're trying to use Meteor Strike to get the Neon Achievement, you have to have an opponent that can survive three Meteor Strikes in order to actually get the achievement in this way. So make sure you're choosing something that's durable. Recursion's a card we could use to help get Neon here. Recursion says, evoke your next orb, channel the orb that was just evoked. And if you use that to recursion a plasma orb, it counts as channeling a new plasma orb towards the nine. Yeah, or three different enemies, but remember that they have to survive the third one. If the, end, if the fight ends with the third meteor strike, you will not get credit. Really prefer an upgraded recursion, but we can just upgrade the recursion. Well, can we? I'm gonna hold off. We also need to keep the number of cards in the deck fairly small. I guess I could have upgraded it. That's funny. I'm not gonna take a pain curse here, but I am going to upgrade our turbo. I actually think upgrading a rainbow could be good too. then I couldn't play it. 
Go buffer defrag. Goal is just to win this fight. Need any of this. Beam cell could be helpful for dealing more damage, but it's not helpful in terms of getting the achievements here. Have it me, bird. Hey, you know what? Just have fun. Knock yourself out. Literally. Sneka Oil draws five cards and then randomizes the cost of cards in our hand. That's interesting. Can be useful from getting Meteor Strike into play the first time. If we do that after we've used Madness, though, it won't work the way that we want to. I'll take Event Elite Shop. The Red Mask Gang. Happy to fight these nerds. We'll get extra money from them for the store. And, uh, well, they're pretty easy to kill. Remove all your orbs, gain an energy, and draw a card for each orb removed. I think that could definitely help getting enough cards in hand to achieve what we're looking to achieve here. I don't think I want this speck of oil. We're getting close. Hmm, this might be a good time to use the attack potion, actually. I do want that potion for the purposes of achievement getting. We did pass on Inserter. That is that is a thing that we have done. Let's see here. Should be able to play Meteor Strike one time. Vision. some more energy. Still haven't seen any hologram cards yet. We're really hoping that we can find one. All right, shop number one. Ah. Heat sinks. Interesting. Heat sinks gives us card draw whenever we play a power, and there's a lot of powers in this deck. Again, if we make, if we make the meteor strike free and then use immense card draw to redraw the meteor strike repeatedly, that can get us the neon achievement. Still need a Frost Orb source, too. Core Surge combos with this Bias Cognition. That's pretty sweet. Mix is very powerful. Toxic Egg upgrading any skills we add from here is assuredly helpful, too. But we do have another shop coming up. I don't necessarily think we need upgrades that badly. We do, however, need card removals. Very badly. Mixed feelings on the core surge. Life will be easier with it. Okay, I'll take it. Okay. 
course, Surge gives us an artifact that we can use to ignore the debuff of our bias cognition, essentially turning it into a permanent free focus. It's good stuff. Double permanent free focus. Should have actually played Ball Lightning there to get two energy back and then use Buffer. Both Reboot and Skim are extremely helpful here. Skim is reusable card draw. Reboot is one time free card draw. I think we'd prefer the skim. Particularly if we're able to make the Meteor Strike our free card on purpose. Skim is really going to help with that. Rail immunity seems fine. We've got a reinforced body. I'm sure it'll be useful. And what's in here? Bottled Tornado, letting us start with a power card on turn one. Bottling Heat Sinks is awesome, as that means that any and all of our power cards will draw us more cards. There's the Consume that we could have used with the Inserter to get the Focused Achievement. But I think it's still possible to get the Focused Achievement on this run. Other things that I do like here a lot include Hologram. Finally, letting us put a card from the discard pile into our hand. That's huge. I really like a power potion. There's some fun stuff we can do with that. And I really like removing another defend card. Don't need this deep fragment. Oh, beautiful. Easy free meteor strike here. Just got to make sure we play all of the other cards since Madness targets a random card. As long as you make meteor strike the only valid target, you have a guaranteed success there. Hmm. Oh, right, the straws too. Seems nice. So, this could be our opportunity here. If I can draw enough cards play Meteor Strike three times in one turn to get the Neon Achievement. So, currently we have a zero-cost Meteor Strike in the discard pile. Hologram the Meteor Strike. Play it one time. That's three Plasma Orbs. Now draw three. Draw two more. Six Plasma Orbs. Use heat sinks to draw two more. Draw one with Compelled River, and then play Meteor Strike the third time. Nine Plasma Orbs in one turn. That's the Neon Achievement yet. With a little bit more card draw, you could see if I had the Gambling Brew, we could reshuffle the hand and play that a few more times. What I'm going to try to do now is see if we can also get the focused achievement on this run to uh, to really round things out. And what I'm going to try to do to achieve that is get my hands on a copy of Creative AI. But that's kind of how you do it at the core. Get a Meteor Strike, find ways to play that Meteor Strike multiple times, and that'll do it. Actually use Chaos to get Frost? Okay. Take that.
You also then need to get into a fight where... You can use the creative AI to get enough focus. Distilled Chaos can also be a, a fun way to get Meteor Strike in play for free. So, we don't need the Attack Potion anymore. That was also for part of Neon, ultimately. Let's see here. Need to upgrade Hologram now. I think I'll use the Power Potion here versus Collector and see if this generates Creative AI. It does not. That's fine. If it had, we could have done some fun stuff with that, but since it didn't, we'll keep going. Do I hyper beam here? I think so. Kind of a tough call sometimes. Miss those cards. turn. There's always next turn, I suppose. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I actually wanted anything but plasma there, but all right. See you that way. Knows what achievement we're trying to get this run. That's so funny. Bonk. Also, highlighting really how the card Chaos can, if you're lucky, help you with the Neon achievement. All for one to return the free Meteor Strike to our hand. Sounds pretty fun, honestly. Let's try all for one here. Seek's also helpful. And again, just looking for... Ooh, love Frozen Core here. Just looking for any way to get a creative AI. Ideally. Do you know that we offer channel memberships now? Support the channel directly here on YouTube for as low as $5 a month and get awesome perks like a custom badge and emojis. But most importantly of all, I'll do exclusive Q&As, uploading a video response only available to members so you can hear your questions read in my buttery voice. Click the join button below this video to get started. Back to the video. Frozen Core says, if we end our turn with any or empty orb slots, we make a Frost Orb, and that'll be extremely helpful for maxing out focus here. We want to keep looking at shops, keep fighting elites. We still have a chance of finding Creative AI, and worst case scenario, I'll show off this run just beating the end of Act 3.
Note that that Frost Orb kicks in immediately, which is pretty sweet. Oh, here's a creative AI. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We got a random creative AI, and we got the Frozen Core. We're set. We are set. This is particularly useful against these regenerating enemies. Because we can kill them without ending the fight. So, every turn, Creative AI adds a random new power to our hands. Which is going to allow us to create new copies of the card Defragment, new copies of Capacitor, new copies of Loop. And so, over time, here in this fight, we're going to be able to become impossible for the Darklings to harm. And we're going to be able to gain all of the focus. As we randomly generate new creative AIs and new echo forms, this will speed up a little bit. So even though this looks like it might take a little while right now, we're going to get there in the end. Really happy to be able to show off both of these achievements in the same video. So for this strategy to work, you need an enemy that isn't going to get excessively stronger over time, um, and you need to be able to keep the enemy alive indefinitely. Essentially what you need is to be able to generate as many turns as you want so that you can get all of the powers that you need from one copy of Creative AI. And not every enemy is suitable for this. Some enemies gain strength over time. This just doesn't preclude them from being used for this strategy but does make them difficult. Some enemies add status cards over time. That can really be a problem. And some enemies will force the fight to end automatically. For example, Exploders will KO themselves by exploding on turn three. That makes them pretty unviable. This fight, the three Darklings, goes on until all three of these enemies die at the same time. So not only is it a fight that we're allowed to prolong indefinitely, it's one where the enemies might even try to prolong it indefinitely for us. If I play these biased cognitions, I'll start losing focus over time, so I only want to play them once we get to the threshold of 25 focus. Currently we're looking for more, again, more creative AIs, more echo forms, more defrags. Might take a little bit to get what we're looking for here. Definitely Insert or Consume would have been faster. Definitely Insert or Consume would have been faster. We now have two biased, right? No, three biased. Okay, so that can be plus 12 focus. That would get us to 20. Please. One cup of echo form, please. There we go. So now we can double the first card we play each turn. That alone is almost enough with these uh, bias cognitions. Let's wait for... One or two more things to get generated here. Usually by this point, Creative AI has generated another Creative AI and you're getting two or more powers per turn. Double Echo Form works too. Uh, next turn. Now we can duplicate the bias cognitions that we've already generated to get over 25 focus. Uh, so, let's see, we're at 8 currently. 
plus four goes to uh, plus eight goes to sixteen. Plus eight goes to twenty-four. Yes. So we have three stacks of echo form. The first three cards get duplicated. Hologram twice. Getting biased and biased. Let's play bias cognition twice. Play bias cognition twice. Play turbo. Play bias cognition one time. And we're over 25 focus. Now we can end the fight. And I'll show off the rest of the run with this deck just for funsies. But that is how you get the focused achievement on the defect most easily, I think. Use a creative AI, generate a whole bunch of powers in one combat where you have control and ideally some frost orbs to sit behind, and then go to town on them. Kill some enemies for funsies here. Second compile seems fun, actually. We're taking a fairly quick path through the act. This is a situation for Distilled Chaos, actually. <laughs> That's funny. Channeled and then instantly evoked the plasma. Pure luck that that managed to hit the Meteor Strike. So here's us getting the Neon Achievement again with the combo nonsense. All for one, get back the free Meteor Strike. Keep going. Yeah! Now that's what I call a good time. We can quite get the transient kill achievement here. For for this to be a transient kill, we'd have also needed, I guess, enough card draw to, to combo infinitely here, or a multicast or something. But we cannot quite secure a kill on transient here. That would have been a fun third achievement to include in this one. I think making an achievement video for Transient might be one of the trickiest things because you, the one of the hardest parts about getting the achievement for killing the Transient is that even if you have a deck that can kill the Transient, there's no way to guarantee that the Transient appears on your run. Sundial's pretty funny. The Sundial machine learning. I think even one more vision. Get those upgraded. Defend, compile. Got a free all for one. It's pretty spicy. We're doing very broken things. It's very fun.
10 energy left on that turn? That's funny. Bonk. Get the other fission upgraded. Don't want a recursion there. Seek seems fun but unnecessary. Panacea could be interesting too. Just keep going. I'm not going to fight the heart on this run. I'm just going to finish the Act 3 boss. There's only one of them. And close out the run that way. So close. Our potion also pretty broadly useful. Let's go this path, I think. Might one more elite. Thriving mess. Oh, annoying. Friends is a lot of energy. Kabonkening. More power potions. Don't ask me how this deck does this, it's very strange. Wow. Turn one Nemesis kill, holy moly. Add a capacitor just for fun at this point? Sure. Give me more powers. Alright, boss. Prepare to be bonked. Yes. Sure. Upgrade all of it. Whatever. And then more orb slots? Sure. An acceptable turn one. one last fight where I play Meteor Strike a whole bunch of times to really show off that achievement. Yes. Give me the Meteor Strike. I want the Meteor Strike.
It's a four card Compulver. Spicy. So close to getting them both on turn two. J Dang. GG Donu Deca. GG. All right. Well, that is the uh, special achievements for the defect, both focused and neon shown off in the single run there. Hopefully that gives you some tips and tricks on how to get these defect centric achievements in your own run. Leave me a comment below the video explaining how you managed to get the Neon Achievement or the Focus Achievement in your own run. What combination of cards and fight did you use to get there? Till next time, toodaloo friends. Hey there, if you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.